Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I have been MIA for a while, um, or at least I think that I have been gone for a while. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to do better with this whole schedule thing. I just have been busy with work and school, so um, forgive me for being gone. But today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys which is a Valentine's Day makeup look. As you can see I'm wearing red and I have red lipsticks on. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please let me know down below what you guys want to see on my channel. Reading all your comments and everything so I do listen to you guys and would like to know what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see this video, then keep on watching! First thing I'm doing is priming my face with the number 7 mattifying primer. And I really love this primer because it really mattifies and hides my pores. And also, it's from Target. Next one I'm doing is I'm taking my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. You guys know how much I love this foundation because it's full coverage and it also lasts me um, a decent amount of time. And here I'm just taking my Clinique um, sponge to blend it all out. Next, I'm taking my Shape Deep Concealer from Tarte and you guys know how much I love this concealer. It really brightens up my eyes, underneath my eyes and it is full coverage and it doesn't budge, it doesn't crease and yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now and again, I'm blending it with my Real Technique sponge. Now I'm taking my translucent powder from Laura Mercier to bake underneath my eyes. So in today's look, I'm actually going to be using my Lorac 3 palette and I'm just gonna be taking the beige color just to kind of set my eyes since I used the concealer as a primer. Now I'm taking the terracotta shade for my transition shade and I'm just blending it all out. Now I am taking the cool taupe shade for my crease and again blending it all out. So guys, the key here is just to keep blending just to make sure there are no harsh lines and the colors are all blended out. I'm actually just adding a little bit more cool taupe um, shade just to kind of make sure I get the intensity that I want and here I'm just blending it all together with a clean brush now I am taking this shade dark brown for my outer corner just to kind of smoke it out a little bit but not really dragging it in 
This will also help your eyes look more dramatic and more defined. And again, just keep blending until you get the intensity that you want. And again, I'm applying the Cool Top shade just to kind of make sure I didn't lose it um, to the dark brown because I kind of want it to be lighter to darker color. And I'm taking the terracotta shade again just to put it on my transition shade and blend everything out. So now I am taking the It Gold shade for my inner corner just to kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit since I have this all dramatic look on my eyes. So this will help you brighten up your eyes. Now I am mixing the dark brown and the terracotta shade for underneath my eyes. Well, underneath my eyes was just too bare for me and I kind of want to make it look more smoky. So this will help you um, get that smoky eye effect. Now I am taking the brown eyeliner from Urban Decay. I just wanted to use the dark brown and didn't want to use black because I feel like that's going to be too intense for a date night makeup look. So I used dark brown instead. I'm also going to be using that to tight line my eyes just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Now I am taking my E to the House eyelash curler just to curl my lashes. And I'm also going to be taking my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. I know when I did a review on this, I didn't really like it. But now I really love it and I've been using it every day. Now I'm taking some falsies. I'm using the Christina Lashes and WSP. I love these lashes. It's 100% human hair, so it looks more natural. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like false lashes that has like thicker bands. I feel like this is more natural looking than those kind. So here I'm taking the Dream Matte Powder just to kind of set my face. And next, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Contour Palette to contour my face. So I really love this palette because it's really affordable and it has, I feel like the shade matches my skin tone very well. So if you guys can get your hands on this, um, you guys should try it. I'm also taking the Wet n Wild palette to contour my nose since I kind of lost it with all those foundation and concealer. And again, blending it all out just to make sure there are no harsh lines. So here I'm taking this mauve kind of pink color which I got from my BoxyCharm. And I really love this color, it's just perfect for a Valentine's Day makeup look. And now I'm taking my Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. You guys know how much I love this highlighter. I have been using it non-stop and I also got this from my BoxyCharm. So last touch up for my eyes, I'm taking the Almond Pearl shade to put on my inner corners on my tear duct just to kind of brighten my eyes a little bit more. I like doing that on an everyday basis as you guys know. And here I'm taking this NARS Velvet Matte Shade in Cruella. And this is a perfect bright red color. I just watched the 50 Shades Darker and I really loved um, Anastasia's makeup look. So this is kind of inspired look from that movie. Here is the final look!
and that is it for this makeup look i hope you guys like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this tutorial and let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel and i'll see you guys next time